so you, you can do this a draw line method in the graphics package and it's the G dot and the G remember is because we could give this any name here at all but we've just done G and so whatever we used here for this type of graphics we would use here and the dot operator to access its methods so this one's called draw line and that's it down there and what you see there is there's two it's x1 y1 x2 and y2 right and we'll change them in a moment so just to demonstrate what it means i'm going to use a lot of underscores in a straight line to create a line here right and so that's a, a line a straight line now this this part here is x1 and y1 and at the end of the line is x2 and y2 and so this position here would be x which would be the distance between the edge of the frame to here and it would also be the y the distance between y the start of y down to here and that would be x, x1 and y1 this point here would be the distance between the start of x to the end of the line and the start of y till the end of the line so that would be x2 this point here would be x2 y2 so that's why we've got two x y coordinates so that means we can have a diagonal line if we want it so we'll take this away and we'll fill in a position here so we'll do 300 and we'll go down 300 and then we'll go we'll make it the x y so so this is x1 so if we do 300 here then we won't have a line at all because it starts at 300 and stops at 300 but if we if we do 301 here then we'll have one pixel which is not very good you might not even be able to see it so what we'll do is we'll do 350 so we can just see it 354 so that's the distance between the start of the line to the end of the line because we're going to do a straight line and we'll do this one 300 the same as y so it's a straight line if we had more it would be a, a downward slope if we had less it would be an upward slope and so what we'll do is 300 and if we save the program run the program no that's 300 this point here is 300 and this point here, um, no, let me see what the coordinates are. 300 and 350. Right, this is x going across this way. So that's 300 and that's 350. And this is 300 down here and 300 down here. So this is y2, 300, and this is y1, um, 300. So if we change that, if we make x100, you'll see we'll have a bigger line. Now that's from there to here is 100, and that's still 350. Now if we change, if we change the coordinates to have an upward slope, so this would be like 300 from here to there, and say this is like 200 from here to here, so what we'll do is we'll change y2 to 200 which is smaller than the y1 so we're going to have an upward slope and so now we've this is x100 x1 100 y1 300 this is x2 350 and x y2 200 and so it's upward slope so we're going to have a downward slope this will still be 300 but we'll put this to 400 instead of 200 we're going to have 400 so it's going to be a downward slope save run the program and now we've got a downward slope so that's drawing straight lines and you can have thicker lines and um, we'll do that later on that's the thinnest line possible 
but we can have like broader lines, thicker lines, and so we can use lines to make our graphics better. And that can be a line that someone walks on that we can do the coordinates that they can't fall through it in animation. So so that's a line. That's a line you, in graphics it's like draw a line as a method for it. And so the next one we'll do, I'm not too sure. There's quite a few methods to go through. Let's see. Right, that's that's this one for the moment. Um, and I hope that's been of use. And as usual, I'll put the, this source code on the video, the, the description of the video, so that you can cut and paste it onto Eclipse or whatever one you're using and run the program and play along with it and um, become accustomed to it. So again, thank you for your time.